Hi everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Pumbi. Today I will be making a sweet tomato chutney. We Bengalis love having different type of sweet chutneys. It is more or less like a sweet relish that is served at the very end of a meal and since it is sweet, it is really extremely satisfying after a heavy meal. So let's get started. Start with making an X-shaped incision on the bottom side of all the tomatoes. Then add them to a pot of boiling water. The purpose here is to peel the skin so as to get a smooth chutney without any bits and pieces of skin which can sometimes be very annoying particularly for kids. In this way I promise you there will be no fuss at all and the chutney also tastes so smooth. Just blanch the tomatoes for a few minutes. As soon as you see the skin getting loose from the flesh like this, then take them out and plunge them in a bowl of water. Here I have taken about a tablespoon of golden raisins. I added a little of this hot water to it to rehydrate them. Peel off the skins of the tomatoes once they are comfortable enough to handle. Then just roughly chop them. While chopping, remove these round parts as these parts do not get much tender while cooking. Tomatoes are at the peak of this season here in the US at this time of the year. So I am making this recipe now as we get beautiful ripe tomatoes during summer. Always use bright red ripe tomatoes for this recipe. For my viewers from India, please try this recipe when tomatoes are in season in winter. I added a tablespoon of oil to my pot on medium high heat. Once the oil turns hot, add about 1 fourth of a teaspoon of black mustard seeds. Once the seeds flutter, add a dry bay leaf, then add the tomatoes. Stir on high heat for a few minutes, pressing the tomatoes with the back of your spoon. Add about a teaspoon of grated ginger. Then drain out all the water in which you had soaked the raisins and add them. Next cover the pot on low heat. Next I added just a tiny pinch of salt, about 5 tablespoons of sugar and very little dry red chilli flakes. Red chilli flakes are totally optional. I like that tiny hint of flavour so I added it. I mashed up the tomatoes a little bit and again covered it on low heat. In the meantime, take a small pan, add about 1 fourth of a teaspoon of panch foron and dry roast it for a few seconds on low heat. Panch foron is made up of 5 different types of spices. You can skip this step entirely as I know panch foron is unavailable in most of the places but if you happen to have this in your pantry then please use it. Grind it very well to a fine powder. Please check out my cabbage curry recipe where I have explained everything in detail how to make panch foron. My tomato chutney has started to thicken up now. Do a taste test at this point and if you think you need more sugar, which I do, then add more to your desired level. The chutney has reduced quite a bit as you can see. Now from this ground panch foron that we had made earlier, add less than 1 fourth of a teaspoon. Do not add too much as the fenugreek seeds have a bitter taste. A little goes a long way. Do not let it thicken too much as the chutney does thicken up more as it cools down. At this point discard the bay leaf as it has done its job. This is usually served at the very end of a meal with a crunchy papar or papadam which are like these crunchy round things made up of lentils. You can even use it as a relish while making hamburgers or hot dogs. I even have this as a side with a bowl of rice. You can store this for one day in the fridge but not longer than that. Please check out my other recipes as well and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Eat healthy and stay healthy. Bye bye!